All this is Dr. Mubin Sayed from drbean.com. Welcome to one more show. So for f- last few months, we have been discussing, we being the uh, patrons, Substack members, YouTube members, Dr. Bean members, in our live Zoom meetings that we do on every Wednesday at 1 o'clock and 6 o'clock, in those meetings, we have been discussing inflammatory pathways, the more important inflammatory pathways. What are these pathways? Inflammatory pathways are the little gears, the proteins that are working within the cells, immune cells or other, and helping to produce inflammation. Inflammation generally is produced for the cell, for the tissue defense and for tissue repair. But when inflammation goes wrong, when, when it becomes chronic, it causes lots of deterioration of our body and it causes rapid aging. So we become unhealthy and we age faster. And of course, we uh, have a miserable life as a result of this. So the discussion that we have been doing is what are these pathways that are important and what are the over-the-counter supplements or interventions that can be used to modulate these pathways and that can be proven with studies. So after finishing those pathways in those Zoom sessions, these are now being uploaded onto the site. There is a collection of interventions and I wanted to share that summary of interventions with each pathway with you over here. So I think this is one gem of a video that is necessary to be recorded. It's not an option. So let's look at it. First, all of these pathways and their recordings are going on drbean.com. So here, if you go to courses, this link above in the header, then in the courses, if you scroll down to inflammation here, you will find all of the inflammatory pathways and their modulators, those videos, those lectures to start appearing here. You can see omega-3, omega-3 ratios, key inflammatory pathways, toll-like receptor pathway, NLRP pathway, cell stressor state and fates are already here. So if I have lost you, just know that for our, as we age and as the, our body starts deteriorating and our uh, decline starts, the contributing factors are aging hallmarks or pathways and inflammation pathways and this is a discussion of those and then over-the-counter supplements and interventions that can help reduce that damage. So now let me give you the summary of what we have studied so far. Okay, so you will not see me because the text is end-to-end. So here, for example, these are the important pathways that we did. Core initializing pathways. These are the pathways that run within our immune cells. When these immune cells are exposed to some external damaging factor, for example, a bacteria or a virus or a fungus or a a substance like that. So TLR or toll-like receptor pathway, NLRP pathway. Then there are certain pathways that start activating within the cell as a cell starts reacting to some some foreign or offending agent. And these pathways are, for example, nuclear factor Kappa B pathway, MAP kinase pathway, JAK STAT pathway, and many more. Then there are some specialized pathways for inflammation, regulatory pathways. One potent pathway is arachidonic acid pathway. Just to give you an example for how potent this is, the aspirin and the ibuprofen-like drugs, they actually modulate this pathway. So arachidonic acid pathway, YAPTAS pathway, PI3K, NUNAN, HIF. So many important pathways are present here in our discussion. But I want to show you this. This is a summary of the key modulators. The modulators mean the substances that would help uh, suppress or activate this pathway towards a better outcome. And there can be hundreds and thousands of modulators. We live in a world that is rich with the botanical gems and uh, with the other sources of molecules that can help us be healthy. 
So I cannot cover them all. But here are some key uh, substances that are of interest to me. And so the bias is me and my research and my confidence in various studies and their various supplements and their power. So look at this. Important pathways, TLR, NLRP, nuclear factor kappa B, MAP kinase, JAK stat, arachidonic acid, PA3, KHIF, right? Then down the line here are the substances that can affect that pathway. For example, for TLR pathway, vitamin D, vitamin B12, vitamin A, zinc, copper, iron, microbiome. For NLRP pathway, vitamin D, curcumin, omega-3, resveratrol, exercise, etc. The problem as we were studying this was that how do we understand what is the minimum set to buy that covers as many pathways as possible? This is that table. This is your screenshot. So I'm going to move this mouse cursor away so you can take a screenshot of this. And now let me just very quickly explain how to read it. If you wanted to modulate all the pathways, if you were speaking with your doctor and your doctor said, okay, I'm going to help you modulate all your pathways, vitamin D is one such uh, supplement or, uh, you know, vitamin. Although you know that vitamin D, for example, for arachidonic acid is not very strong. You won't say that, hey, I have pain and so let me go take vitamin D. You would rather take Tylenol or aspirin or ibuprofen. So these pathways are not equally potent, but they are going to be effective in various areas. So vitamin D almost effective for all of them. Wherever I've written C, that means there is a controversial effect of this. Some studies say yes and some studies say no. Then vitamin B12, A, zinc, copper, iron or TLRP. Look at curcumin. Curcumin, NLRP, nuclear factor kappa B, MAP kinase, JAK stat, arachidonic acid and PI3K, AKT weaker effect. So almost important. So for me, over here, vitamin D is important, for curcumin is important. Then look at omega-3. It is a potent arachidonic acid pathway modulator. And so, in addition, NLRP modulator, nuclear factor kappa B modulator, and yesterday we saw that for the aging study, where interleukin-11 suppression improved the age of mice by 25%, with health and guess who what is a supplement that can modulate interleukin 11 omega-3 so omega-3 is a very important uh, supplement resveratrol nuclear nlrp pathway nuclear factor kappa b map kinase jack stat arachidonic acid pi3k and hif quercetin as you can see so you can just take the screenshot and see which one are the one that are potent and you can then decide three or four that may be of interest to you. And then you can have that discussion with your doctor to say, if I am inflamed, how about using some of these? And are you okay with that or not? So with this, thank you very much. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. Become a member of Patreon or Substack or YouTube. And join me on Wednesdays with Dr. Bean Uncensored, where, where we do all kind of discussions. We do not record them all so that we can talk whatever we want to. You can become a member of drbean.com as well. And then you have a new video every, every week, including these kind of videos. Plus you have a webinar every Tuesday mostly. And then you can join us on Wednesdays as well. So with this, thank you very much. Once again, like, subscribe and share. And I would speak with you again. Bye for now.